Have you ever found yourself wanting to practice your portrait lighting techniques, but you don't have a subject available? Do you get nervous when you're shooting someone because you're afraid that if you run into a problem with your lighting, your subject will lose faith in you? You are not alone. These are common problems that photographers deal with. Stay tuned because I found a great learning tool that will help you avoid these problems and definitely take your lighting skills to the next level. Hey gang, do you suffer from lack of a practice subject? Is it a lack of confidence that gets in your way? I recently stumbled on a German software company named Elixir Software that has developed an awesome learning and prep tool for photographers of all skill levels. I literally found this software when I was doing a Google search because I was looking for a better way to create the lighting diagrams for the last frame videos that I do every week. I downloaded the 15 day free trial version and was hooked and I knew that I had to share this with you. The software is called Satellite 3D. It's available for both Mac and PC. The program comes preloaded with studio setups and models that you can experiment with, but that's not what makes it so amazing. It is completely customizable. Here's the interface of Satellite 3D with the demo setups loaded. Let's pick a simple one light setup with a model posed in front of a gray background. In the center of the display, we can see a 3D rendering of the studio setup. With a few simple mouse commands, we can move all around the setup and look at it from the side or the top, or we can zoom in. In the camera panel here on the right, we can see what the finished shot will look like. Want a better view? Switch it into the main panel. Thinking about vertical instead of horizontal? That's one click away. You'll notice along the top of the display here, we have all of our camera, lens, and exposure settings. If you make adjustments here, they are immediately reflected in the camera display rendering of your finished shot. Now you may be asking, how accurate can that possibly be? It's not perfect, but it's pretty darn good right down to the histogram in the upper right hand corner for those of you that are slaves to the numbers. Let me show you how well this works. If we move down here to the lower right and select the strobe, you can see on the left side of the display that all the controls are now dedicated to that strobe. We can adjust the watt seconds of the strobe and then adjust its power output. If we turn the power up, you can see how the image is now overexposed. If we adjust the aperture or ISO, we can correct the exposure. We also have the ability to change the reflector or the modifier on the strobe. Satellite 3D has all kinds of modifiers, including reflectors, softboxes, grids, and beauty dishes. It also has speed lights built into the software, so you can choose between a speed light or a monolight as your light source. Now if I switch back to the studio light display, you will see by clicking on the strobe, I can easily adjust its location, its height, and the angle. All the while, the real-time camera display updates and renders my adjustments as a finished photo. I can select the background in the set list and change its size or colors. I can also completely modify the room to match the size and wall colors of my own studio. So let's experiment. If I add a light with a blue gel for a more dramatic effect, and then let's change to an 85 millimeter lens instead of this short zoom. Now back the camera up and recompose, and there you have it. My version of this setup. I can check it out in black and white, or take a snapshot of the finished setup and then decide how I would like to output my information as a JPEG or PDF file. I can also save this setup for future use in Satellite 3D. This is just a brief look at the capabilities of this software. I almost forgot. The models can be posed, and you can change their clothing and clothing colors. You can change their hair colors, skin color, expressions. I mean, how cool is that? After I found this and tried it out, I reached out to Elixir Software in Germany, and I had the opportunity to speak with their founder, Johannes Donner. What's great about this program is that it came about for the very reasons that I talked about in the beginning of the video. Johannes had started his working life as an engineer in the automotive industry in Stuttgart, Germany. He had decided to make a career change and was working as a photographer and using his girlfriend as a practice subject to test out new lighting arrangements. He wanted to find software that would let him do this when she wasn't available. And to his disappointment, he found that nothing like this existed. So he decided to create his own. In 2009, he put together a team of photographers and designers and programmers 
and Elixir Software was born. The potential applications for this software are incredible. From learning to light and choosing lenses and camera angles, to understanding how different light modifiers will impact the final outcome of your shot, to even being able to use the software to learn posing techniques. I sincerely consider the software a must use for any photographer who is serious about learning to photograph people in a studio setting. Johan shared with me that they are even working on a future upgrade that will allow you to use the program to plan lighting outdoors in different lighting conditions. You can learn more about Satellite 3D on the Elixir software website. I have a link in the description section below. They have some great video tutorials and manuals, but I can tell you that I taught myself how to use the software in about two hours. It has a very intuitive interface. Now you always hear me say, practice, practice, practice. Now you don't have an excuse. You can be sure that your best shot will be your next shot. So keep learning, keep thinking, and keep shooting. Adios. Thanks for watching. If you find these videos helpful, please give them a thumbs up and share them with your photography friends. Be sure to subscribe so that you don't miss a single episode. And if you have a question that you would like answered, post it in the comments section below. Your question could be my next video.